Hey everyone, Bernard here. I hope you're all staying safe and well and welcome to my film and TV channel. I hope you enjoy what I've got for you today and please check out uh, as you're watching this uh, little links on screen as well for different things on my uh, Facebook and Twitter and of course my uh, football channel as well. And, uh, please, all your comments are very welcome. Just let us know and push that subscribe button. Don't forget, please push the subscribe button. Make sure your notification is set to public as well if you want to know when uh, these vlogs are coming out. Push that notification button as well. So, anyway, please, please enjoy. Right, today we're going to have a regular look at what's out to buy, what TV and film stuff is out to buy from the 18th of October. That's online and in store here in the UK. Another busy week. Uh, this is ramping up for uh, obviously uh, autumn and winter, and obviously there's been a lot of backlog with COVID, etc. So I assume that's the reason why we're seeing more and more. We've got seven, seven films and six TV things, including documentaries. So let's get on with the film things. Let's rush through these today. Uh, the Sparks Brothers, yes, that's now out to buy a 15 rating, 11.99 DVD, 16.99 Blu-ray, 135 minutes, of course, a music documentary starring, of course, Run. Ron, Ron, Ron and Russell Mail. Uh, how can one rock band be successful, underrated, hugely influential and criminally overlooked all at the same time? Take a musical odyssey through five weird and wonderful decades with brothers Ron and Russell, celebrating the inspiring legacy of Sparks, your favourite band's favourite band. Of course they are. Internet Movie Day Space, 7.9 out of 10. So that's out to buy, do you want to own that? The next one, The Croods. Yeah, The Croods is out to a new age. The Croods, 9.99. DVD, $14.99 Blu-ray, a U-rating, an animated action adventure, of course, with the voices of, amongst many of Nicolas Cage, Emma Stone, Ryan Reynolds and Peter Dinklage. Yeah, the first prehistoric family is ready for another rocking adventure. The crews have survived fang beasts, natural disasters and even young love, but now they must face their biggest challenge yet, another family. In search of a new home, the crews discover a world in paradise created by a sophisticated Betterman family. Yes, emphasis on the better. As they try to coexist, the differences between the two families escalate into a full-blown feud. But when a new threat forces both families to embark on an epic adventure, they must all learn to work together. Of course, it must all go extinct, even. Internet Movie Day Space, 7 out of 10. Yeah, not too bad. So if you want to own that, that's out to own. The next one, The Forever Purge. Yeah, from a, a, an animated family thing to a, quite a nasty chiller. Uh, the Forever Purge, 15 rating, 9.99 DVD. $14.99 Blu-ray and $24.99 4K. 99 minutes, Anna de la Regrera and Tena Cuerta start in this action chiller thriller. One night is not enough, of course it isn't. As members of an underground movement are longer satisfied with the annual nights of anarchy and murders, decide to overtake America through overtake America, yeah, through an unending campaign of mayhem and a massacre. No one is safe. On the morning after the purge, a mass gang of killers attack a wealthy Texas ranching family and their workers. Exposed by daylight, the two families are forced to band together and fight back as the country spirals into chaos. Well, it was bound to. It was always going to end in tears, wasn't it? Obviously. And the United States begins to disintegrate around them. Oh, dear. Internet movie database, 5.4 out of 10. A bit mean. I, 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 Check out my review. I thought it was a bit better than that, I think. I can't remember now. Long time ago. Anyway, that's out to buy. Do you want a forever, forever purge? The next one, yeah. Escape Room 2 Tournament of Champions. A 15 rating. 9.99 DVD. 14.99 Blu-ray. 88 minutes. An action adventure horror. Taylor Russell and Logan Miller star in this. And, of course, it's a sequel to the Box Hoff box office hit psychological thrill that terrified audiences around the world did it well probably they say so here in this installment six people unwittingly find themselves locked in another series of escape rooms slowly uncovering what they're having common to survive and discovering they've all played the game before internet movie database 5.8 out of 10 just a little bit below that magical six but hey, not too bad if you want to own that, you can. And back to animation, we've got Dog Tanyon and the Three Musker Hounds. Yeah, U rating, 9.99 DVD, 84 minutes. An animated adventure, of course. Dog Tanyon is an ambitious young swordsman who dreams of becoming a hero and joining the legendary Musker Hounds. After proving his skills and earning their trust here, the Three Musker Hounds must defend the king from the villainous Cardinal Richelieu's secret plot to seize power. Will the Cardinal win and take control, or will Dog Tanyon and his new friends foil the evil scheme before it's too late? 
who knows? 5.7 out of 10 on the Internet Movie Database. Not great. I never got to watch that. I'll have to try and watch it. But, uh, yeah, if you, if you want to own that and you like it, that's out to buy. The next one, well, it's getting that time of year, isn't it? Halloween Party, 6.99 DVD, 15 rating, 92 minutes of horror. Stars Shelley Thompson and Jeremy Ackerman. This was directed by Jay Dahl. Uh, Grace is on a journey to find who killed her best friend after they triggered a creepy and disturbing Halloween-themed computer meme. Uh, with the help of a talented IT student, they soon discover that their old college has a terrible secret. And as the meme becomes more popular, they find themselves in a race against time to stop even more horrific murders internet movie day space five out of ten no, but it's horror it could be it could be that sort of average it's okay uh, that's out to buy anyway legend of the lost city of gold yeah this is 6.99 dvd a 15 rating adventure horror starring isaiah stratton and todd bush and directed by michael butts during the final days of the American Civil War, a team of Confederate soldiers embark on a dangerous mission to unearth an ancient treasure. But fortune may come at a terrible price as the men soon learn that some secrets are best kept buried and there are dark forces at work determined to keep the treasure hidden forever. No ratings on that one, but if you know anything about it and you want to buy it, that's out to buy. Right, on to the TV stuff. We've got Kipchoge, The Last Milestone. Yeah, this is a documentary, 9.99 DVD, 14.99 Blu-ray, 87 minutes. A cinematic portrait of world record marathon holder Eliud Kipchoge as he prepares to break one, prepares to break one of the last milestones in sports in history, the sub two hour marathon. It follows his journey from his training grounds in Kenya to the high tech facilities in Europe to his record attempt in Vienna. His motto, no human is limited. Did he do it? I have no idea. I might have to watch that. Uh, <laughs> internet movie database 7.5 out of 10 on to another legend Ali's, Ali's comeback the untold story uh, 7.99 DVD, 84 minutes. It's 1970, I wish it was. Uh, Muhammad Ali has been exiled from boxing since 67 for his firm stance against the Vietnam War. Stripped of his title, convicted of draft ev evasion, facing a $10,000 fine and five years in prison, his passport is revoked and he's denied a licence in all 50 states. Ali's illustrious boxing career was ebbing to a quiet close. But... But there's always a but. In Atlanta, that all changed. An ambitious Jewish attorney turned promoter, Atlanta's first Jewish mayor, and Senator Leroy Johnson joined forces to make the impossible possible. Ali's comeback, the untold story, is the epic tale, an epic tale about the return of the greatest athlete of the 20th century from the shadows of the boxing ring and onto the world stage. Internet movie database, 9.1 out of 10. You've got to get that. I mean, well, that's a, an amazing rating. On to the next one, very gritty drama. Uh, I did a little review on this a couple of months back. Stephen, uh, 15 rated, 12.99, 14.99 DVD, uh, Blu-ray. 135 minutes, a historical crime drama, of course, starring Steve Coogan, Charlene White and Hugh Quashie. Stephen portrays events from, 2000, events from 2006, 13 years after Stephen Lawrence's death on the evening of 22nd of April 1993 in a racially motivated attack whilst waiting for a bus in Eltham in London. Even though Dorian and Neville Lawrence knew the identity of their son's killers, the original investigators failed to convict those, convict those responsible. And their extraordinary campaign for justice led to a public inquiry that branded Metropolitan Police institutionally racist and brought about sweeping changes in the law and police practices and transformed thinking and understanding of racial inequality in the UK. Good gritty series. Internet movie day space, 7.4 out of 10. Deserved a lot more than that. That's out to buy if you want to buy it. And the next one, Grand Tours of Scotland's Lock, Series 4. 12.99 DVD. In this new series of Grand Tours of Scotland's Locks. I've not been up there to see the locks. I've been up there, but I've not been to see the locks. Paul Merton embarks on another lock hopping odyssey. Well done, Paul. Travelling from locks of sky to the locks of Persia. And the next one, The Cleaner. Yeah, 13.99. DVD, not a bad little series. I enjoyed this. 15 rating, Greg Davis, of course. Uh, guest stars include Helen Bonner Carter, David Mitchell, Ruth Maidley, Stephanie Cole, Leighton Williams, uh, Joe Hartley. Anybody else? Nope, that's it. Might be some others as well. And with chemicals, scrubbing brushes and cleaning rags, Wiki removes the gruesome mess at the scene of the crime when carrying out his duties. He stumbles across the strangest of people, from the victims, relatives, employers, neighbours and acquaintances, to occasionally even the 
murderers themselves. And because he's a sociable type, he sometimes gossips more than he cleans. Of course, he does. 7 out of 10 internet movie database rating. If you want to buy that, that's out to own. And another good one, good little series. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps ebbed a little bit towards the end and got a bit bit, bit boring. But uh, The North Water, fourteen ninety nine. On DVD, a 15 rating. Jack O'Connell and Colin Farrell, of course, starred in this, a BBC mystery drama. It's 1859. Well, I'm glad it's not there. I won't have been around. Patrick Sumner joins the volunteers, a ship surgeon, hoping to lose himself in the tough physicality of an Arctic whaling trip. But the ferocity of the elements is matched by the violence of his crew's mates with Drax, a harpooner, a distinctly brutal force of nature. As the true purpose of the expedition becomes clear, confrontation between the two men erupts, taking them on a journey journey far from solid ground and way beyond the safe moorings of civilization. <sighs> Internet movie database, yeah, not bad. 7.7 .7 out of 10. So the other own that, that's out to one. Well, there you go. Busy week. Sparks Brothers, The Crude's A New Age, The Forever Purge, Escape Room 2 Tournament of Champions, Dog Tanyan and the Musker Hounds, Halloween Party, Legend of the Lost City of Gold, Kipchoge, as I'm going over to the documentaries and TV, Kipchoge, The Last Milestone, Ali's Comeback, The Lost Story, Stephen Grantors of Scotland's Locks, Series 4, The Cleaner and The North Water. So I've watched a lot of those, so I would have buy them uh, to keep them. Um, Film-wise, no, not particularly. Uh, I, I'm not saying I didn't I dislike the films, but there's nothing sticks in my mind. I think I'd, I think I'd have to buy Stephen, of course. That's a gritty drama, isn't it? But just just for a bit of light relief, I could probably watch The Cleaner again with uh, Mr. Davis. It was uh, quite funny. So there you go. If you give me that, give me a few quid, I'll go out and buy that and watch it all again. I say it's only only six half hour episodes, so it's just under three hours, I think, overall. But uh, there you go. Anyway, let me know if there's anything you're looking forward to buying or you're going to add to your DVD, video, Blu-ray. Video, not video, no, we don't have... Well, people can collect videos again now. It's be, be retro, won't it? I sold all mine off. I sold about my last 2,000 off to some guy for a couple of hundred quid. So there you go. But uh, you never know. They might make a comeback. <laughs> anyway, DVD and Blu-ray. You want to add to your DVD and Blu-ray collection? Let me know what you're buying. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you got to do the rest of the day. Have a great one. Look after yourselves, look after your friends, look after your families. More importantly, let's all look after each other. So we meet here again on the Film and TV channel. Or perhaps have a look at my Citizen channel, my channel on my football team, Manchester City. Until we do meet, all I ever ask is please stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.